Alright, welcome to another web development video where I show you how to create modern websites using HTML5, CSS3, and a little JavaScript. Uh, in this video series, we are working with Webflow. Now you can find Webflow at webflow.com. And Webflow is a visual code editor. So essentially it allows you to visually write code as opposed to typing it out. <clears throat> and we are working on this project here and so far in the first uh, three videos we have done an introduction and then we did this header area and then the last video we did uh, the navigation and now we're going to move on to uh, the section uh, below so we're following this uh, template here somewhat following it and we're just going to focus on this area here which is like a little feature with an icon now uh, you are able to use icons in Webflow and it takes a little bit of uh, doing to do that but I will show you the process I have recently figured it out myself so <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to just do that part first so let's let's go ahead and get it loaded up for icons because I think we're going to be using them uh, throughout this uh, small project so the way that we do this I found a tutorial on the Webflow forums and um, you go to your icon uh, font of choice. I prefer this one. It's called the Material Design Icon font and essentially just uses the Material Design icons uh, as an icon font. Um, you can go to Google and get the icons. Uh, this works with pretty much anything as long as it has a font file for the icons. And so uh, Font Awesome is one that a lot of people use or Icomoon. Um, anything that gives you a TTF file or OTF file, you'll be able to upload into, pardon me, into Webflow. And so <clears throat> the way we do that is we go to this little part up here, see where the W is, and we go to our project settings. And inside the project settings, you go to fonts. And we want to upload custom font files. So I've gone through and it says that it'll take TTF, OTF, EOT, and WAF files. So I actually have <coughs> uh, each of those uh, types of files um, that are uploaded here. And all I did uh, was I went to upload and then you can see my files here. So I just grabbed those files, clicked open, and then it pulled them in. And then I had to upload them or install or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Uh, it was something like that. I had to upload or install, but you can see that I have uh, true type, I have EOT, I have WAF, and I have WAF2. So I have a few different types here. <coughs> and um, I don't have open type fonts because it doesn't come with that. So the material design iconic font doesn't have that. Uh, but once I get these loaded up, <coughs> then I'm able to go back to uh, my projects, click the project that I was in and then now one of the things that we see uh, when we highlight an object is if we go back to our typography you can see here that now um, my icon font is listed with all of my other fonts so this is going to be important not right now um, but when we go to put it into um, into an actual element on the page so that's how you get the fonts all loaded up and now they're ready to use anywhere on the website so uh, we're good to go there and <clears throat> we're going to use them here so we'll have an icon uh, a number and then some text so we need to build out uh, this section we're going to build an, uh, an intersection and then we're going to build uh, groups so four groups one two three four groups each group is going to have uh, an icon on the left and then this is going to be another small group uh, where it has the text on the right and then we'll have each um, each piece of text in a particular uh, order I guess I don't know um, we'll have it in its own little box so that it stacks <coughs> so let's take a look at this uh, first we need to add a section so we come up and this is going to be a whole new section so we're going to add it after Let's see if, well, let me, okay, 
So we add it after, so this is our section. And let's call this section uh, feature is not a good name. <coughs> let's say, well, let's call it stats. Okay. So we're going to call this section stats. And that'll be the ID that that section has if we ever want to scroll to it. Uh, this is going to be a, a regular section and um, then what else do we need? Uh, I can give it a class of stats and so that kind of sets us up there and I'm going to add a div on the inside of that and this is going to be our inner div so we'll call that stats inner and the inner div is going to contain all of our content here. So uh, when we um, when we produce the padding that goes around the top and the bottom, uh, the inner div is going to help us to center align it and use flexbox uh, centering. Okay, I guess I don't need that anymore. <coughs> and then. Uh, we have our stats enter, and then inside that we need to create four groups. So it's going to be one group, two groups, three groups, four groups. So I've tried this a bunch of different ways, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create one group, and then we'll see it, and then we'll just copy and paste the other groups and then make the changes to the content. So let's do it that way. So another div inside of that. Uh, the stats inner, I just want to leave as a div. So I don't want to change that because that's really a, it's a non-entity. It's just there <coughs> for the sake of dividing out that group of elements from the others. But uh, this div block here that we just created is an actual entity and it's gonna, I want it to have some semantic meaning. Um, so we're gonna call it stats group and then that's going to hold all of our stats and we're going to give that uh, let's call it an article so uh, the stats group is going to include uh, one icon and then one piece of uh, text or two pieces of text but they're going to be wrapped inside of this so think of this as one two boxes so we're just going to nest a couple of boxes inside this stats group uh, so we bring it down and we'll take another div and it's going to nest inside there and this is going to be called our stats image and then we're going to take another div and we're going to put that inside can we put that inside stats group we're going to call that stats text. Okay, and then let's see where we are here. Okay, so inside stats, this is our outer layer. This is our inner layer that we're going to use in order to create the flexbox um, centering. Then inside of this, we're going to we're also going to make this a flex uh, container. And then inside that we're going to have a stats group and that has an image and text. And then inside the text we are also going to um, put a couple of things. So in the text we need to have uh, this header and then this bottom part here. So we're going to say uh, let's put a heading in there and you can actually include it just like this into the tree. Uh, which is kind of cool so that's going to be there and let's give this um, maybe an h4 and we're going to say what does it say 1000 and then uh, inside of stats text we also need a paragraph so we'll just have a little paragraph here you could also do uh, another heading you could do an h5 if you wanted to I'm just, well, let's do that because it, it technically is a heading. So let's do another one. We'll make it an H5. And what does it say? It says qualified lawyers. Okay. 
So now we have our group. We have our stats group that includes our stats image and our stats text. Now in the stats image we need to add um, some sort of something that we can attach, uh, some sort of element that we can attach the, uh, what's it called, the icon to. So we can use a lot of different things here. You could use a paragraph, you could use another heading. Uh, I'm just going to use a plain old text block, which I believe is, is like a span. Uh, I'm not really sure. So let's put it in there underneath. And then now we have our text block here. And what we need to do is we need to name this text block. I'm going to give it a class of icon. And then I'm going to set this. I'm going to set the icon class to the material design icon font that we uploaded before uh, that we connected to. Yours will probably say font awesome if that's what you're using or whatever the name of um, whatever the name of the font that you're using is, the icon font. So let's go in here and we're going to highlight that. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of my icons because we need to come in here and copy our icons. Now a lot of them will have um, what's called a cheat sheet or they have the ability to show somehow you can see the icon codes. So I click on that uh, I think you could probably just highlight the icon, but I think for Font Awesome it has something like this where it shows you the codes. Um, and what are we looking for? We're looking for like a, a person. So um, let's just do this one. So we highlight it. We copy. We don't highlight this part. We highlight this part. Okay. Highlight the actual icon. You copy it. You come over to Webflow. Let's put this over there. You come over to Webflow and then you paste it in. And just like that, we have our icon. So you can kind of see it down here. There it is. It's kind of small. Um, for some reason, uh, it is italicized, and I can't remember what it is that makes it do that. Um, I remember, let's see, this is the forum posting where I saw it, we're all learning this together, Nothing seems to show why it's showing as italic. This talks about it here. Um, when you see the screenshot, you see that it shows in italics. That's what I'm getting to, and, and maybe there's a workaround for that. I'll have to look for it. Um, anyway, our icon shows up here, and then we need to go to our stats group, and we need to make our stats group display flex because look at it we have our image and we have our text and if we flex them they'll just be right next to each other really nicely Put that over there um, so let's do display flex you can see that they're next to each other now uh, we can style this icon to be a little bit larger so let's do something like uh, 32 pixels maybe 48 Okay. And then um, we have our, our flexed items here. So this is our stats text, and this is our uh, stats icon. So what we need to do is make sure that they are, our stats group is centered this way. And I'm going to add a little uh, margin to this um, icon. So I'm going to say, we're going to call this the stats icon. And then I'm going to give it a margin uh, on each side. So I hold down control and then drag 
So I'm going to give it a margin on each side of 16 pixels. And that gets us pretty good here. These headings have some margin that I want to get rid of. Um, and then we'll just kind of start fresh with these. So that one doesn't have any margin. The H5, no margin. If you know what you want to do, you know, you can go ahead and make those happen uh, the way you want. Uh, the lawyers uh, is not bold. This is kind of semi bold and a little larger. So let's go ahead and mark that. Um, these are all going to be Montserrat. And this one is too. Okay. And let's make that one semi bold and let's make this one not bold at all so either normal a normal and the italic is going to be normal also and oh there it goes for some reason that was set to italic and now it's not italic okay good we figured that out and let's go to our uh, stats Let's do stats in uh, stats, and we'll do a little padding here. So let's put a couple of um, couple of rem of padding. That way, we just kind of separate it out um, and make this a little larger. Let's do 64 like that. Again, uh, some get some weirdnesses in here. We'd have to look at that a little bit more. Uh, stats image is height of auto. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, it's a line height issue. There we go. Okay. Yep. So when you change the font size, you need to change the line height size too. So now we have a nice little block. And this is a uh, pretty much like we want it. We might want to put some more padding here. Um, it's hard to tell. Maybe 64. And it's a little bit better. Yeah, something like that. And then uh, this is going to be... So we have stats. We have stats inner. Stats inner needs to be display flex. Um, and so we only have one of them right now, but I want them to display flex whenever the time comes. So we have our stats group here. If we just copy, control C, and then we take this and we paste it, you can create one, two, three extra ones, and we've created uh, four of these groupings okay so you can see each one is highlighted as I click on it you can see each grouping is highlighted right uh, we need the uh, stats here to also be display flex and then we need to center it and then we need to center it vertically as well so now we have a, a centered section here and we can go to our stats group and we can add a little bit of margin to each one. So let's just say left and right margin of 16 pixels. Are we good? Maybe 32. about 32 pixels. 
All right, that's a little bit better. So now we have our elements here, and we need to to get the rest of our um, the rest of our icons. So I don't know if we have any uh, handshakes. Sorry, let's go to the icons. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have any handshakes. I mean, we can just essentially uh, do whatever we want in there. So let's see if we can do this from here. Nope. So we need the cheat sheet. And I'm going to use icons that don't really make sense, but we just need to be able to get some icons in there. So we double click. And then we paste it in. So that one's there. Um, some kind of reward. Ribbon. No ribbons. Um, no reward. All right. Well then, let's just grab something. Can be whatever. You would obviously want to put the icons that you wanted to put in here and the honors and awards what's that called it's called a trophy maybe there's a trophy no no trophy all right so let's do a uh, traffic signal And then we're going to go through 12,000 trusted clients. And so you can see that it's just, it's super easy to go through here and make all the changes. Ten thousand one cases. And then 12,921 honors and awards all right and so when we look at it this is what we have we have uh, our initial section that we created and now we have this nice little um, bottom section here that aligns to this um, so you can see and we might need a little bit more padding um, than even what we have here so let's just add a little bit more padding to this uh, stats so we have 64 and we hold down shift and we can create even more uh, so let's do a 80 is the next step up so that looks good and we could even increase the uh, spacing here uh, if we wanted to and for right now to me that looks pretty good and it looks like what they have here um, the fonts could be a little smaller so let's just click on that and make that 48 again and, um, let's make these headings a little bigger so let's try 24 and then for the headings, we'll also give them a little bit of a, a bottom margin. So maybe eight, which would be about half a rim. And that's where we kind of are here. Let's try normal. Normal's not quite right, but it's pretty close. Um, and then let's set the set the margin to be just a little bit more, let's say uh, maybe 24. Okay. So just a little fine tuning that you can do uh, with these different things. Um, on on this uh, side here, when you see it come in, those things um, they actually animate. So you can see here that they count 
up. Um, so they have some sort of uh, JavaScript that's counting those up. Uh, not going to do that right now. Uh, but the next thing that we'll do is this uh, section right here. And what I'm planning to do for the entire series, you see that there's a little animation here to get you to click on that button um, and to let you know it is a button. What I plan to do is to go through and lay out all of the HTML and the CSS first. So where we just kind of have static content like this. And then we'll come in and we'll, um, we'll work on the animation for some of these elements and items. Um, but that is our stats section. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you've missed the first part of this series, just go back and watch uh, the first video as an introduction to Webflow and what it is. And then uh, parts two and three are building out this top hero header section. Uh, that we created here. So the first section is the hero, the second section is the navigation. So if you're wondering how I did that, um, then you can go back and see um, see those videos and then move on. Uh, creating the stats section was the next one. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.